I think this <coughs> sorry is my last video for today. I think I've made like 20. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Story of um, how I entered YouTube. I was an interior blogger and also made Mark flowers and I came across a lady who had much of the same style as me and she was so nice and then she linked one of her videos and I go like ooh videos on YouTube on crafting how cool is that so I went and looked and I was already on YouTube but more than like in the forum I had put up a couple of videos from some garden I went and I subbed this lady and through her you know the ball started running so and I truly admire her she we have so much in common we garden both of us we love our house and interior both of us and we have much of the same crafting style and I think if you don't know who I mean by now you need a cup of coffee <laughs> I'm talking about for you Marlene one so I know I'm gonna meet her um, and um, I can't wait it's like a special thing for me she have meant a lot for me very much and we did a dual swap in um, May uh, and um, but now um, I want to give her something uh, just to you know give her something I know she will love absolutely she will love this and I know uh, and I put all my love into this to make it just exactly what she would love so and I use a lot of mixed media techniques and all that and I wanted to make a piece for her she can display proudly and um, I wanted to give her something pretty and so, uh, I altered a box, um, it's a wooden box actually, I got it in a way, in a store that have a little bit of this and that, and um, I painted it all white and then I went over it again with silver paint, not so much fabric texture underneath here, but on the sides, you can see that, okay, just lift the camera a little bit. I went all crazy. I worked this little box like a mud case. So, and then you might recognize this trim here. That's actually this one. But I cut it so the um. So I had the, this part here, it's on the bottom, so these roses are peeking down and this bottom part is on the top. <laughs> so yeah. And then I did that all, pulled that around all the way and then I, to get these textures I used the uh, Inca Gold in Silver and Platinum. And it's masking, it's pieces of fabric, you name it. So, and then I painted a whole lot of my metal filigree in white, and these ones I put some gloss on. I'm not sure if you can see that really, but they have another hue. So, this one is shiny, and this one is matte to get that matte, shiny contrast. <coughs> this flower, I layered it multi -mix, mixed media flower, sort of. Um, Acrylically, do the leaves, um, doily. Uh, there's a even do that flowers tucked in between, and then it's metal filigrees again, and then this here, and then one of these bigger ones, and same here, but the flowers it's smaller, and let's see. There, I like how that is like. The filigrees and the acrylic uh, to the leaf. I love that. And there's a butterfly here. Hold on there. Okay, and now I packed it. I wanted it to be presented nicely. Now 
Charlene is one of those who really does everything perfectly for me, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, she just does things so nice. So I wanted to do the same. And what I've done here, I see I did a lot of distressing and I have one glue string there. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I had masking on the top here. I had problems masking in here. I really had. And here's a little vintage trim covering up and the border on the outside again. You know, I don't want any glue showing. And another one of these flowers in a... Sorry, I'm off the of frame. Um, big cap. And I love that. And then... When you open it up, it smells also good. Um, I got a, it's a, I think it's olive soap, and I just packed that in some paper, Norwegian some paper. There's these flowers. I think she would love these. It's also the, and then I gave her some laces. You know, I made these tags. You can see the shine there. And distressed and stamped and gessoed and even this here is treated and stick pens there Marlene have <laughs> I, I know I'm silly, but you know, there's just some people you admire so much. And she had meant so much for me that I found her and got into here. It's, um, you know, it's like giving something to the queen for me almost. <laughs> so I just want it to be perfect. I know she is not. I'm just being silly. She will almost, uh, not strangle me, but shake his shake her head off on that but i don't care <laughs> there's the inside and this box i got in a norwegian store and i just screamed marlene so and of course i filled it to the brim with doodads and goodies oops so a little bit of sparkle there and i just paper in here to kind of keep it steady so that's that let's see if I can put it back in the same order uh, where it came from I have a little bit more so. so but me and uh, Janet, we're gonna go shopping with Marlene. That's gonna be fun. So, so there is Marlene's gifty and closing it. Sure, it's all pretty here. Nothing stuck. Nope. There, that's the box. And then I'm giving her some Norwegian book break bear. And then I actually got something in here too. Well, you would just have to wait to see what that is, isn't it? So, okay guys. Um, thank you so much for watching all my freaking videos here. Uh, it's been many, I know. Uh, and it will be more, you know. So, um, when you see this, I'm already in the United States having fun. Going crazy. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> okay, my son came in and agreed. <laughs> Okay guys, I speak to you all soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.